welcome to the 7.30 edition of 7 News on the 29th of March 1982. We have just received some breaking news. Ten minutes ago, El Chichon in Mexico began to erupt. We have our reporter Madeline McEwen reporting live from Mexico City since it is too violent to be at the actual site. Madeline, what can you tell us about this eruption? I have with me volcanic expert Mitchell Bruce. Now Mitchell, what information can you give us on this volcanic eruption? Well obviously it has begun to spew plenty of volcanic ash that is slowly covering all nearby towns. We have already recorded 5 centimetres of ash in a town less than 20 kilometres away. This will unfortunately cause huge numbers in the death toll. The volcanic eruption was caused by a lava dome. What exactly is a lava dome? A lava dome forms when there is a very slow eruption of thick lava. Instead of breaking through the surface of the earth, the lava builds up underground causing a huge lava dome to form. These lava domes build up over hundreds of years until they explode violently without warning. Now Mexico used to be a diverse and wonderful place for tourists to come and visit, but what do you expect to happen to Mexico once all the eruptions are complete? As you would expect, the trees and plants will be flattened and it is most likely that all the animals will escape unharmed. Popular Mexican tourist attractions such as the Copper Canyon and Los Cabos will obviously be damaged to some extent. If you were to choose to stay around the volcano, what would be some serious or life-threatening situations? Well, the first obvious situation is the clouds of sulfur dioxide. These can contain poisonous gases that, if inhaled for too long, would definitely result in death. There is also the dangers of the burning rock that is currently flying out and dribbling down all sides of the volcano. So if you choose to stay, you are pretty much guaranteed a slow and painful death. Is there any other important information you can give us? El Chichon is actually a part of a volcanic arc, so there are many other volcanoes around this area which may erupt without warning or due to a secondary wave from the earthquake. This volcanic region is believed to be the result of an underwater ridge. The ridge lies on the Cocos Plate of the Pacific Coast of Mexico. We don't have the exact readings yet, but we pro and we probably won't get them, but members of our team who have spent time in an earthquake have said this was one of the most violent they have ever experienced. Thank you for your time, Mitchell. No worries. Thanks to the both of you. We will definitely keep you updated on the crisis as it unfolds throughout the night. A special thanks to our recorder, Gia Lim, for risking her health and safety to record this news. We will take a break.